problem that you face. Jamaican scientist Dr. Henry Lowe is defending his position of not revealing much more about his prostate cancer treatment discovery, inferring that he's guarding against intellectual theft. Dr. Lowe, who was the guest speaker at the Jamaica Stock Exchange's Best Practices Awards Ceremony, November 8, 28, has come under fire from Jamaican urologists who have called for more evidence to support the claim that a product made from the indigenous Jamaican plant ball moss has been demonstrated to kill prostate cancer. However, Lowe hits back, saying full disclosure could possibly result in others stealing his intellectual property. The patents are there, and as a matter of fact, one of the questions that I, I would love to pose to anybody is, who could tell me of any pharmaceutical company that's developing a drug that goes out and tell you what they're doing and the details? Before you know it, it would be taken away and used. That's the world out there. So you give as much as you need to give. And what the pharmaceutical companies will do, when they have finished clinical trials, as you will see on some of the papers in, in, in the literature in some of these uh, medicines, it speaks to indications and contraindications. That's the time you know what's going on, when the research is finished. So why, is, why, is, why am I supposed to go and tell people the details of what I'm doing? As I said, the literature is there, the patent is there, and there it is. The controversy was all about, I, I would say, misunderstanding, and I want to be charitable when I say that, and inaccurate information. But anybody who wanted to find out anything, know where to find me and could have asked. But instead, the media loves this, and everybody picks it up, and they go on. And I want to leave it there by saying, why... why while I've been set back, I was set back for about three years because of these legal issues, because nobody touched you in the States where I do most of the work, wants anything legal, because they were sucked into. So I've had to do the work, but not take it to the next level, which is the National Cancer Institute, to take it further. We are now going there, because much of that legal thing is behind. The Jamaican Urological Society has displayed some degree of skepticism about the product, warning the public that the product's characterization as a nutraceutical means that the level of scrutiny it will receive from regulatory agencies such as the United States Food and Drug Administration is much less than would be the case for a product classified as a pharmaceutical agent. For Business Content Jamaica, I'm Owen James.